Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Ulyana and I'm a product manager at BlockScout. Uh, BlockScout is an open source blockchain explorer and today we're going to talk about uh, blockchain explorers and how they evolve with the increasing needs of Web3 users. So blockchains are designed to be transparent and um, you have access to all the information uh, about any transaction and um, however there is no information that is sometimes um, However, there is so much information that sometimes it's really difficult to uh, uh, find what you're looking for and sometimes you don't even know what you're looking for. And uh, this problem is not new, actually. Look at what happened to the Internet, for example. We thought that Wikipedia, global connectivity and Google would end era of illiteracy and everyone would be able to get a degree online and everyone um, will get um, knowledge of uh, every information available for the humans and yet by now uh, we see the, the rise of uh, flat earth theories, anti-vaxxer movements and conspiracy theories of all kinds. Uh, but get, let's get back to the blockchain explorers and uh, ask ourselves why do we even need them? Uh, so blockchains are designed to be transparent uh, but raw blockchain data is often difficult to understand. And blockchain explorers uh, make it easier for the users to view and verify transactions, addresses, and any other data on the blockchain. Um, next, blockchains continuously generate um, new data, and access to that data is critical to traders, investors, and developers who must uh, monitor in the real time what is going on in, in the blockchains and the, in their applications. Um, Next, blockchain explorers allow users to search for specific transactions, addresses, or blocks, uh, making it simple to track and analyze blockchain activity. Uh, and last but not least is security. Blockchain explorers can actually uh, enhance the security or by providing information on um, all parties involved in the transaction. So blockchain data is complex um, and requires a lot of technical knowledge. Just See, uh, uh, here you can see the transaction receipt, which is really hard to understand and even read. Uh, so when we build uh, blockchain explorers, it's not just a problem of availability of information. We need to solve it's what is the right amount of information uh, and what is the right information we need to show. Thankfully, over time, uh, explorers have evo uh, evolved a lot in terms of user experience. Um, known usability heuristics and approaches uh, have been implemented to allow users to easily find and explore uh, specific data in the blockchain. Uh, blockchain explorers now organize all the information in a way that makes it easier for users to find what they need. Uh, here you can see a scr screenshot from uh, blockchain and you can see that all the necessary fields are grouped together and it's really simple to uh, focus on something specific. In addition to that, uh, data became more graphical. Um, graphs, charts, and other images uh, are now used to make complex data easier to understand and more user-friendly. Uh, here you can see a screenshot from the feature we built in BlockScout uh, that helps to uh, visualize what's going on in specific transaction. You can see the uh, path of the tokens uh, within the Uniswap swap operation. Um, and a lot of explorers uh, have that as well, uh, makes it really easy to see the token flows comparing to what you can usually see in the token transfers in the uh, block explorer tab. A lot of information has been simplified. For example, uh, transaction actions uh, were added in many explorers to better um, match what user did in the protocol with what is shown in the uh, explorer. Uh, in the first screenshot, you can see how it looked before. Uh, now you can just easily understand what uh, user actually did in the protocol. Here, someone uh, added liquidity in LIDAR tokens to Uniswap V3, and NFT token that represents this position was uh, minted instead of that. Before that, it was really hard to understand uh, the outcome of the transaction. You could see the data, but you didn't know what happened eventually. But at the same time, explorers um, become more and more complex in terms of functionality. Uh, they started offering additional data analysis tools, bridges, uh, contract verification in build depths, and much more. 
uh, here you can see the screenshot from Zappar XYZ, and you can see that um, they have swap, they have bridge, they have NFT tools, DeFi tools, and even you can explore DAOs here. However, the core function of uh, blockchain explorers remain the same, and that is ability to discover relevant blockchain data and show it user in a user-friendly form. And um, just as we see in the evolution of search engines, the same is happening in the realm of blockchains. Uh, the first generation of search engines, as you all know, uh, such as Alta Vista and Yahoo, were information retrieval engines, and this means that they provided basic websites, um, website indexing based on keywords submitted by the users. But later, Google completely changed the game by introducing page ranking. Uh, they used an algorithm to decide which websites were most relevant based on things like how often words appeared and how many other sites linked to them. And uh, this new way of doing things meant uh, that search engines stopped just giving um, you a list of websites and started giving you a list of websites that might actually have the answers you were looking for. And currently, uh, we are witnessing the emergence of uh, generative uh, engines, mostly in the form of AI assistants, where um, search engines not only look up relevant answers, but also generate information on user requests. And exactly the same is happening with blockchain explorers. Uh, we first went from unranked raw search results to the outputs enriched by ranking, reputation, and other metadata, uh, with explorers now delivering much more relevant results. Um, here you can see in the first screenshot, user was probably looking for punk NFT, uh, and we can assume that he was looking for the original punk NFT contract or specific token, but instead, uh, blockchain Explorer gave him a list of tokens with punk name in it, not really valuable. In the second screenshot, uh, we've added the ranking to the search and uh, user was able to find the DAI token based on the <coughs> market cap. And we assume that this is the most relevant result. Uh, and now technologies like AI and machine learning um, have begun to play a big role in the evolution of the explorers and the complexity of blockchain networks grows and the use of these technologies become even more crucial. Um, AI-powered explorers now understand user questions written in just everyday language. Uh, it makes possible for users to search for blockchain data using uh, just words and um, entities and phrases they already know. Uh, AI helps to analyze a lot of blockchain data and summarize complex data. Uh, and AI can actually uh, help to find some patterns and trends in blockchain data. Uh, and explorers now can show useful insights and analytics um, with users. And um, they even can um, spot any unusual activity on the chain, which makes um, security and threat fraud detection better. Uh, in this screenshot, um, you can see the uh, AirStack. This is a Web3 developer uh, platform that provides APIs uh, and integrates a lot of off-chain and on-chain data. They recently introduced AI Assistant. Uh, you can just write uh, your search query in a natural everyday language, like uh, you can ask uh, AI um, Assistant to find all pops that are owned by Vitalik, and it will convert that um, query into API call and show you the results. In this screenshot, uh, we played a bit with ChatGPT and the transaction receipt and managed to uh, go even further with the transaction actions, converting the structured uh, answer to the just simple explanation what happened in that transaction. Uh, it works out of the box and we can integrate that already into the blockchain explorers. Etherscan recently announced the AI code reader that helps to um, understand what's going on in a specific smart contract it, and even chat with that. Uh, and we at Block Scout continue building as well. We just recently launched uh, Block Scout Portal, which is a, a multifunctional homepage for any EVM chain. It's open source, any EVM chain can set it up. 
uh, and we are planning to add AI tooling to the UI as well and um, in a way that it is available for the EVM chains to use not only for the mainnet instance that we host but also for any other chain that uh, will use Block Scout. Uh, and yeah, you if you have any questions, you can uh, follow, uh, ask me in Telegram, and uh, we have some time for the questions as well. Unfortunately, we don't have time for questions. Ah, okay. Okay, just uh, use Telegram. <laughs>